Carson, I believe you're going to explain to us the basics of how a mechanical movement works. Yes, Andrew. Um, so behind us, you see there's a, a, a chart or a graph. Um, a lot of people have this misconception of how the energy flows in the mechanical watch movement. So this is the foundation, this is the basic of it. And if you can understand this, you can understand any uh, complicated watches. So here you have uh, the winding stem and the crown and you turn it by your finger to give energy to the winding barrel. So the winding barrel takes care of storing the energy, sort of like a petrol tank in the car. Mm -hmm. After that, you have the transmission, or called the gear train, which carries uh, the energy from one side to another. But why do we have the hands on top of these three golden wheels? Mm -hmm. It's because people don't understand is the first wheel, this is called the minute wheel. This carries the minute hand. And here, the fourth wheel carries the second hand. So behind these wheels at the pivot, it's actually the, the, the hand that's displaying on the dial. So depending on how fast the wheel turns, it, it, it dictates the, the accuracy of the watch. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to have control of this energy. Without control right now, up until this wheel, it's just like a children's pullback car. You give energy to it, you let go, all the energy rushes out. Yes. So therefore, it, it's no meaning. So you need the fourth, one, two, three, the fourth system, which is called the escapement system. The escapement system comprises of two things, the escapement wheel and the pallet fork, this thing that looks like a T-shape. Mm -hmm. The escapement wheel does two things. It stops the energy and it changes the energy from a circular motion into left, right, left, right. When you hear the watch tick tock, tick tock, mm -hmm. it's actually from the pallet fork, mm -hmm. or sometimes you call it the lever. Now, because you stop it, it's not moving. You need the, ex you need the, ex the, the next one is the balance wheel. The balance wheel has a, um, uh, a tiny little jewel underneath it, okay, and it's called the impulse pin. The impulse, because of the construction of the balance wheel and the spiral or the hairspring, it makes the wheel turns back and forth, back and forth every time Which it goes. Which flicks that pallet for back and forth so it doesn't jam. It will, it will trigger it mm -hmm. and it pushes it to another direction. And it comes back and it pushes it. So it gives energy. So the, the balance wheel and the balance spring and the escapement system, these two final systems works hand in hand to give meaningful distribution of the energy, creating mm -hmm. accuracy in the watch. I believe that as the energy moves through these different sort of regulators of this, this force, some of the energy is lost. How efficient is the average sort of watch movement? Well, every brand is different, but in general, energy from here delivering to here, you have roughly about 60% loss of energy, depending on what kind of escapement system you're using what kind of lubricant, what kind of jewels you're using. But at the moment, the energy um, delivery system is not extremely efficient yet. Mm -hmm. But you will see there are many brands who are coming up with new idea, new development to improve this. So if we talk about watches, it's a, an ancient art, and yet there is still room for innovation and development because as that energy moves through that process, there is more and more of an attempt to, to have less wastage. Is, would you describe that as one of the key challenges for these brands? That's why we keep coming up with new products? Absolutely. The, mm. the, the challenge, not, it's not only at how you maximize the energy, but it's also how to figure out different ways of displaying it mm -hmm. and transforming uh, the energy into time telling. So the bottom line is there is lots more to come from watchmaking and that even though it's uh, several hundred years old, there's still some years in this it business. Is, it is a fantastic and fascinating um, um, things to study. Great. Carson Chan, thank you very much. Thank you.